Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a YouTube Live Hangout. Alright, so we're in our dashboard right now, and before I show you how to do the YouTube Live Hangout, I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like. So this is one that we recently did. We did it last week, and this is Arit, my business partner. She did one on the best personal development books for entrepreneurs, and she was showing her library um, and the books that she has live. So I'll just play a little bit of it, and if you want to see the whole thing, the link will be in the description below. That was me. So um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them down. She's going to be checking them out and letting me know what questions you guys have. And if there's any technical difficulties here, like you can't hear me or something wonky is going on, just let, just let us know. And uh, do our best to fix it. I don't know where to look because it's like, this, do I pay attention to you or do I pay attention to you? Do you all the all right, so that was a little bit of the YouTube Live Hangout, and the camera that we're using is the uh, Logitech HD C930E webcam, and that was connected to Reet's computer, and that's what you see on the live stream right there. So we are both doing a we're doing both a Facebook Live and a YouTube Live Hangout. All right, so let's show you how we do these YouTube Live Hangouts. So. First of all, you want to make sure that your account is enabled. So in the channel section, you want to make sure, I'm just going to scroll down here, that you have this enabled, live streaming enabled. And if it's not enabled, there's usually going to be like a little button that says enable, something like this here, enable you want to make sure to click that and then it, when it turns green then you'll be able to do the live streaming if you don't have that enabled you won't be able to do this so after you've made sure that you have that head over to the live streaming and I'm just gonna click this little arrow here now I find it works best when you schedule an event rather than uh, streaming now. It's a little bit more confusing when you do the stream now, so the events is the best way to do it. So I'm going to click on events, and when you set up an event, it allows you to promote it more, and it notifies your um, people, your subscribers, that you've got an upcoming YouTube Live Hangout. So once you click on events, you want to click on new live event up in the top right there. So in here, you want to fill out your details. So you want to put a title, what is your live stream going to be about? So in this case, this live stream was about best personal development books for entrepreneurs. That was the title. And then in the description, I'll just scroll down for you. This is what the description was that we had placed. Um, so this was the description, and then this was a list of the books that we were talking about and this was like a little bit of a, a summary of what's going on that's what went in the description here and then the tags these were you know the keywords I don't think you'll be able to see them right here um, but the tags these were the keywords you know that were related to best personal development books for entrepreneurs the keywords are basically things that you want to put in so that people can search you up. It makes it easier for people to find you when you put the proper keywords and the titles and the descriptions. They all work together. You can set if you want to do this right now or if you want to change the time. Let's pretend like we're gonna do it in at 12.30 or something. So let's pretend we're gonna do it at this time We've got a test YouTube live, oops, live hangout. And you know, uh, make sure that you fill in your description and tags. You can also go in here and fill out this information as well. 
if you want to monetize with ads, we already have that going on. And you can choose to have this public, unlisted, or private. So I'm going to have this as private because I don't want this one to be public right now. So there's a couple of things. If you wanted to start now, you would put now and then you would go live right now. Um, I'm going to show you when you schedule an event what it looks like. So if you're ready to go live now, you would just click go live now. But I'll show you what happens here when you create an event. So after you've done that and you've filled out everything, you click create event. So I'm going to click on that. Oh, and it says the time should be in the future. Let me just alter this. Okay, what time is it? Let's just put it for here. Create event. All right, so then it takes you to this page and this is where your events are gonna be happening. So this is the one that I created, the test YouTube live hangout. Now, when you schedule it at a time, you want to make sure to come in a little bit early and have your microphone and your cameras set up because you might have some technical difficulties. The first time I did this, we had some issues with the microphone. I couldn't hear the other person. They couldn't hear me. And you just want to come in a little early, especially if you have people watching you, you want to come in a little early so that you can get out the kinks before you go live. So let's pretend that, okay, um, it's coming up on the time here. I'm ready to start the hangout on air live. So you want to come back to this page when the time has come and click start hangout on air. It's going to open up this thing right here. And it's going to be initializing here at the bottom. You want to make sure that goes up to 100%. So this green button, that's the start broadcast button, but don't press that until you've got everything set up. So right now you cannot see anything. So you want to make sure that you set your camera and your microphone. So you can click on settings. And then I want the camera to be this one because that's our Logitech C930E. Blue Yeti. Yep, we want that. Click Save. And then we can turn it on. So I'm going to turn on the camera. And then I'm going to turn on the microphone. Alright, so it might not be showing up because I'm currently using the camera. So let me see if I switch it to the computer built-in camera if it works and I'll switch it to the microphone that's on the computer because I'm I'm doing this recording so I'm using the webcam and the microphone so it might not let me use it so let me just switch these specifications so click save turn camera on okay there we go you won't be <laughs> It's a little bit messed up there, but basically when you when you click that when you click them and the red goes away Then uh, then they're in use so as you can see right now It's kind of like blurry and stuff because I have if I lift this you'll see me oh, You'll see me a little bit better. Um, I have the webcam on top of the computer That's why it's covering it and that's why you see this like black and stuff, but you see it does use the camera here so You've got your camera ready and you've got your microphone ready. Make sure to have it on the proper settings. Right now I wasn't able to do it on our two professional items because I'm currently using it for this screencast. But when you are ready and you have it all ready to go, you want to click start broadcast. So click that and then I'll say that your hangout will be um, on air and you can broadcast for up to eight hours. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to click starting. All right, so the Hangout is now live, but I made it private so it's not like streaming everywhere. But if this was public, all of my subscribers, they would get notifications and they could uh, potentially be watching me live. Another thing is if you want to add people to your live broadcast, this is live right now, by the way. Um, if you want to add people to your broadcast where you can speak to them within the broadcast and not just not just have people watching you, um, you can click that. And this is 
the link that you copy and give them so that they can they can join the hangout with you and speak with you instead of just watching you can also add in their email so I'm gonna click close and if you want to just promote it and send it out to people to watch as a viewer you click on links here and this is the YouTube link that you potentially post you know on Twitter or on Facebook so that people can catch this YouTube live hangout so let's say you you know you've done your hangout and you're ready to stop you click stop broadcast all right so the broadcast has been successfully terminated and now it's done what will happen after that is this is going to upload onto your channel so if you're done here and you know you're done speaking with the person you're off air now you can still speak with the person you just basically click this uh, leave call which is like a hanging up so I'm gonna click that and then so now a recording of the broadcast will now be uploaded to your YouTube channel and it will automatically replace the live video players that were shared so I'm gonna click close that's closed okay I'll go back to our video manager alright so this is still private because I had set it to private but basically there's that test YouTube live hangout that I was just doing with you guys so that is how you set up a YouTube live hangout alright guys well if I was able to help you out at all please let me know by giving this video a like a comment or a subscribe all that would be very much appreciated alright guys well thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video Back from the dead